If you're in the early stages of wanting to create online content or an online course using the platform of Thinkific, this video will be perfect for you. Hello, my name is Romney and thank you very much for joining my channel as I step you through the easy process to establish your account with Thinkific. Now, my journey with online course creation and online courses commenced about two years ago. And now I've got over 10 courses that I host on Thinkific plus another other few sites that will help me to generate passive income, but it also allows me to reach a global audience. Thinkific is a great platform for you to host your courses because you get full control. That means you can control the pricing, you can control the marketing, you can control the content, you can include links in your uh, lessons that will help you to generate uh, passive income through affiliate links. By using a platform like Thinkific, it'll help you to um, scale a lot quicker. Now, my courses have allowed me to really reach a far wider audience than I ever thought was possible. But in this video, I just want to step you through the simple process of setting up your account. Some people find that a bit of a challenge. I want to make it nice and easy for you. But I'll also go through some of the pricing options that you need to consider when you're setting up your account with Thinkific because that is very important to begin with. Because once you set up your account, you want to be able to have that as an evergreen way of attracting people back to your site. So let's get into the presentation right now and I hope you enjoy it. Step number one in creating your Thinkific account is to ensure you take advantage of the 30-day free trial. Now you can gain access to the 30-day free trial by using my link, which is try.thinkific.com forward slash Romney OMF being one month for free. Now, if you use my link, you'll be taken to uh, the site exactly like this. And we're going to jump on in a moment and I'm going to show you the steps, but I'm also going to outline some of the key pricing plan options that you need to consider. So let's do that right now. So once you have my link, just go up to the browser, enter it right there, go enter, and that will take you directly to the Thinkific page right here, and you can start your free trial. Now, once you click on the start the free trial, then you can go through and you can uh, get started by putting your email address details, and then you set up your account. Now, what are the, some of the considerations that you need to think of when you're setting up your account and the pricing plan options? Well, when you're on the pricing plans, there are a number of different things that I think are important to outline. Now, you can toggle this to be monthly or annually. You can save 25% if you do an annual plan. But if you're just wanting to start and do monthly plan, well, let's look at these features. So you can start with a zero sign up uh, program, but there are some limitations or a significant number of limitations. That being, you can only put one course, you only have one administrator, and you do get zero transaction fees, but you do have the opportunity um, just to work through what those features are that provide those limitations. But what I definitely recommend you do is to go to the start plan. That will allow you to create a membership and subscription. And that is one of the key reasons why I use the $99 plan because I find that if I can generate memberships through my courses, then it becomes a monthly revenue stream that becomes consistent. Like any subscription service, people will start their subscription and they'll be able to choose whether they continue or not. And some subscribers choose to become uh, members and then they start to buy other courses that you might have as well. So it's a wonderful way to be able to engage your audience. So I would recommend the start plan to begin with. If you're not keen on that, you can always diarize it and cancel or postpone your membership. But I really do recommend that one. If you're a business, then maybe the grow plan could be right for you. But you can see how there's no transaction fees. But if you do go up to these pay plans, you do have other payment methods which customers can purchase uh, your courses from. So they will, you'll have PayPal if you're under the free, but if you do 
transition or move up to these different plans like the start plan you can integrate stripe payments for credit card payments because not everyone might have a paypal account but they will have the opportunity to pay with stripe which is one of another worldwide known payment portals that you can use and i'd suggest doing that because i think 70 to 80 percent of my students use stripe and their credit card to pay for their courses and through the subscription or membership models that I have uh, on my Thinkific site. So there's some important considerations that you need to think about. But look, let's look at a few pros and cons as well before you transition through uh, from creating your account and then having your online courses ready to go. So these are the main pros and cons. So the free account, it is budget friendly, there's no risk. It's a great way to practice loading up your courses and you can get unlimited students. But you do have course building limitations. PayPal is your only payment method and only one course is permitted. If you transition through to the start plan, you do get the 30 days to trial it. So that does limit your risk. You get the integration of Stripe for credit card transactions and therefore you can create your memberships and subscriptions but you may be out of pocket for the first month or two as your courses start to get traction. Uh, and you need to go to the next uh, plan up to remove the Thinkific branding. So that's another consideration for you. So what else do you need to consider when choosing your plan? Well, your current and future online course goals, what are they? How many courses do you want to have? Do you want it to become a big passive income earner for you? How does that look like for you? So that would consider you need to consider the number of courses you're likely to create if you're creating two or three courses then you can start to create your membership or your subscription model number three your customers and what payment options are best suited to them so they may not all have paypal so stripe is a fantastic way for students to pay and then your course pricing structure what are you going to be selling your courses for are they going to be premium say over $500 per course, or are you going to be selling for $20 per course? So think through the pricing structure. That's important. Now, if you wanted more information, then I do have a free two-hour training on Thinkific and online course creation. I'll leave the link in the description for you below to do that too. So that's the free course valued at $179, two hours worth, and you can get that absolutely for free. There's no um, there's no uh, intention for me to do anything but to show you through the whole platform so you can learn as much as you can to start earning as quickly as you can and reaching as many people to positively impact through this course. So your first steps should be to watch my free course. That's a two hour free course. It could be the best time you've spent to ensure you get all the steps right. And that will cover a lot about creating course ideas, the steps to plan out your lessons. I've also got a YouTube video that you can watch. I'll leave the description, um, sorry, I'll leave a link in the description below. And then also create your Thinkific account and uh, I'd be most grateful if you used my link and therefore you can get that 30 day free trial. So that is try.thinkific.com forward slash Romney OMF and that will give you that trial. Um, so what else do we need to know? Well, planning and preparation. That's going to be a very important part of your process with creating online courses. And as I mentioned, I've got free content about how to do that process. Uh, there are some steps in there that are important to do, and I've also provided a template for you to help with that process. So that is something which will help you in the long run as you start to plan and prepare more of your online courses. You can also use the setup guide, which I've created specifically for Thinkific. Again, I'll leave the link in the description. Download that. It's about six or seven pages worth but that will step you through how how to set up your account and some of the important steps and it also includes some audio visual equipment that you might like to use for your courses so finally start here use the link download the free setup guide utilize that 30-day free trial 
and complete the two hour course. And that will really help you through this journey of setting up your account with Thinkific. I've had a huge amount of success using the Thinkific platform. Highly recommend it. It's just so easy to use. The platform is easy to integrate into other applications. And my students have found it so accessible, very easy to log in and out. And think if you take care of all the back ends uh, side of things, you just pay a monthly fee for it to be hosted. And then once you start selling your courses, it well and truly pays for itself. Uh, so I really hope that this video has assisted you with the setup of your Thinkific account and some of the things you need to consider regarding the pricing plans that are available. Uh, but take action. Get onto these sort of things. Don't procrastinate. Now is the time. If you don't take action right now, then the course ideas might fall away and you may never start up. So make sure you get onto things immediately. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this information. All the best. Goodbye.